one segment. This is Isaiah 40 and uh, 29. He giveth power to the faint, and to them that have no might, he increases strength. All right, that's the children of Israel. All right, so he giveth power to us. And this, he's given his power by uh, uh, opening his book so that we can understand it again. Okay, and it says, uh, them that have no might, he increases strength. He increases our strength because our people are in a docile, depleted, destroyed state of mind, man. Okay, so he's increasing our strength in these last days. It says, even the youths shall faint and be weary, and the young men shall utterly fall. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. All right, so this is a, a scripture they like to use in churches and things like that. And think, oh, if you're having bad times, then the Lord is going to lift you up. Okay, but it says, they that wait upon the Lord. Who's truly waiting upon the Lord? You know, because those Christians are waiting on uh, Cesare Borgia. So they're not waiting on Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. So they, that can't be who it's talking about. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary, and they shall walk and not be faint. All right? So not, not only is that now talking about the scriptures and it's giving us this spiritual endurance, but the Lord's going to give us, uh, He's going. we're going to have a, the capability to fly, man. We're going to have the capability to, um, you know, he said he prepared a mansion and place for us. We're going to be able to uh, do all the Lord's work with wrath, man, and with vengeance. Okay? Uh, this is, I'll just jump down here, Isaiah 41 and 14. Fear not, thou worm, Jacob, and ye men of Israel. And so the Lord calls us, you know, we small things, man. But nonetheless, we're just vessels of the Heavenly Father that come to do his bidding. Okay? I will help thee, saith Yahweh, and thy Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. Okay? Behold, I will make thee a new sharp threshing instrument, having teeth. Thou shalt thresh the mountains and beat them small and shalt make them... So make the hills as chaff. All right. So in the scriptures, the Lord uses uh, the heathens to be sometimes aisles, mountains, trees. He uses different analogies like that to describe the heathen. So he says, Israel, he's going to make us a new sharp threshing instrument, man. You know, and I, I, if I can, I can't, it's a hard to, I should have looked up some, but a sharp threshing instrument is like a chainsaw, if you will, man. All right. If you Imagine putting a chainsaw to somebody's neck. You know, it says, Behold, I will make thee a new sharp threshing instrument, having teeth. Thou shalt thresh the mountains and beat them small, man. We're going to beat these na nations to a very little thing, man, because they thought they were set up on high. They thought that they had uh, the uh, the prophecies and the, uh, the great things of this earth, man. But those things were set up uh, to the children of Israel by Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. And it says, Thou make the hills as chaff. They're going to be nothing, man. They're going to be beating the powder, man. Okay. All right, this is a Jeremiah 4, 50, Jer Salakia, Jeremiah 51 and 20. Thou art my battle. Matter of fact, I'll start up just for uh, understanding sake. It says, uh, the port, this is 19. The portion of Jacob is not like them, for he is the former of all things. All right, so the children of Israel are the former of all things, man. And Israel is the rod of his inheritance. And Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai of hosts is his name. Tells by a wife. All right, the Lord of hosts is his name. Okay. Thou art my battle axe and weapons of war. For thee will I break in pieces the nations, and with thee I will destroy kingdoms. All right, so the Lord says he's going to make us into his, we're going to be his battle axe. So when people think that men are going to be killing other men and uh, the children of Israel are going to be getting busy with physically what the, uh, what these other nations have done unto us, all of the different things that they've done unto us, killing our forefathers, raping our, uh, our uh, foremothers, uh throwing our children at uh, alligators and castrating our men and hanging us by the neck. You think the Lord isn't going to give us all of the things that they've done to us back double? Okay, that's prophesied in Revelation 18. Okay, so once again, it says, thou art my battle axe. So he says, Israel, you're my battle axe. We're going to be the ones the Lord pick us up to, to break the nations, man. Wep and weapons of war. For with thee, I will break in pieces the nations. So of course he has... Those thermonuclear missiles coming, you know, and that was the devouring of his fire of his jealousy in Zephaniah 3 and 8. But and we got the angels and uh, the chariots, man, which are going to bring that concentrated fire. But he says, with thee, I will break in pieces the nations and I will destroy kingdoms. All right. So the Lord is going to use us. Lord willing, we're those men. He's going to use us um, to destroy these nations, to destroy these heathen and get rid of them, man. You know, so right now we are in that state of um, that state of just doing the Lord's work, man. And understanding that he's going to bring great judgment unto these people. And he's going to make us into hunters, man. Okay? 
Uh, matter of fact, I'll just finish up on this Jeremiah 16. I'll go to 17. For mine eyes are upon all their ways. They are not hid from my face. Neither is their iniquity hid from mine eyes. And I if and first I will recompense their iniquity and their sin double because they have defiled my land. They have filled my inheritance with the carcasses of their detestable and abominable things. All right. So th this is talking about the uh, the uh, the heathen and the uh, the two thirds of the children of Israel, man, because all of our people ultimately will make it in Jew uh, in, in uh, John 4 and 22. It says for all the Jews shall be saved. OK, uh, but. There's a, there's a way to do it, okay? It's, go, it's like the first people on the ship, and the people will get to, once the ship comes back for the second return. And that re second return is going to be through reincarnation, okay? Because two-thirds of our people don't have righteous spirits. And that was deemed by the Heavenly Father. Only one-third, a small number, a remnant, are going to have that righteous spirit to do his work. But the two-thirds are going to have to be reborn in the kingdom, okay? Because the spirit that's within them has to be uh, come back through the loins of a righteous man in order to be uh, forgiven. So, like I said, the Lord is going to give us that spirit of uh, of hunting, man, that spirit of, 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 of chasing down and tracking down our enemies and, and becoming a, uh, that weapon of warfare, man. You know, the Lord is going to turn our spirits into, you know, he said he hated the wicked every day, man. He's upset with the wicked every day. So the Lord is going to turn our spirits into something that we probably, a lot of men couldn't do right now. A lot of men couldn't go out and um and just start killing people, man. And a lot of men couldn't, wouldn't have the, the guts and, and the gall to do that, man. But the Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh is going to put that spirit in us. The same way he did the so-called white men. When they, when they were destroying us, they were put on earth to be the wicked, the Edomites. So when they were destroying us and they're just being wicked, that's the spirit that the Lord put in them. All right, so he's going to accept our spirit is going to be a righteous one. All right, we're going to do the things unto them righteously because it's fair. And the Lord is a man of just balance. Okay, uh, this is uh, 2 Thessalonians 1 and 6. Seeing it is a righteous thing with the most high to recompense tribulation to them that trouble you. All right, so they trouble us, man, every day. You know, I watched the video today. They finally released uh, the video, the body cameras of Alton Sterling. Uh, you know, the, from the two cops. And they, I think it said it was three years later, you know, and they finally uh, get to uh, release those videos, you know. And they, he didn't even do all he kept saying was, what did I do? What did I do? What did I do? And they, they, they slamming his head on the car, putting his hands on the car, throwing them on the ground. They tased them. They, and then they shot him and killed him, man. You know, and, uh, you know, the same thing going on with Jake all over the earth, man. You know, but they do those things. And so it's going to be a righteous thing. With Yahweh Ba'asham and Yahweh Shai to recompense tribulation unto them. Because they trouble us, man. And they have been troubling us since the foundation of time. Especially since we've been over here in Babylon, man. America is Babylon the Great. It's going to be destroyed by thermonuclear destru destruction. Alright? Thus saith the Heavenly Father, man. You know, these these are, uh, are, are not our words, man. These are not our words. And th that's the problem with uh, uh, what a lot of people think. You know, a lot of people constantly say, oh, yeah, you guys are, you know, creating your own thing. You guys, uh, this is stuff that you made up, you know, but this is uh, John 7 and 16. OK, so when we're telling you that we're going to be turned into hunters, you know, and right now we're fishers. What is what do you how I say? John 7 and 16. Yeah, how I answered them and said, my doctrine is not mine, but his that sent me. All right. So 